The minute you walk <laughs> over, it crashed. The okay. minute you walk over, it I was about to say a penny for your thoughts. Let me do this again. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Um, so the, the way 3D scanning works is uh, picking up point cloud. It's called a point cloud because of the cloud with uh, like a millions and billions of points in it. In order to convert points into a 3D model, you need to first merge those points into a little triangles, what we call polygons. And then the polygons become a bigger surface. I was trying to get that part. I was trying to get this area, and then get this area, and then take the pipe off and get what underneath the pipe. So it's like Photoshop, you have a layers. So what I'm trying to do is get my uh, 3D data in layers. You will get your base layer and then you start installing components. This way I can see what's underneath the components once I uh, take it off. You cannot scan the hood from inside the car when the hood is closed. So what we're gonna do is close the hood and we will use a marker scan outside of the hood. We open the hood scan it from this angle and then we will line it up in 3D so we basically get a assembly where the hood is closed. So you have other shipping that goes around the air dock and you see the mark on the hood, this ring. Yeah. So that's where the wet stripping seals against the hood. So what it does to prevent fresh air coming in from this inlet escape to aggressive engine bay, you want the air to come out from here and directly goes down into the air box. So we are recreating this contour, but we are getting rid of the stock air duct. We're making our own. So you're just gonna make sure it gets this airtight seal. That's the design intention. That's the that's why I'm scanning the hood. So now that you got the 3D scan in there, what yep. what, are, what um, are you, is there anything you're particularly looking for? Yeah, I'm basically looking for the cleanliness of the scan. So you see a lot of noise here. So that's basically little pieces. Some of those uh, we can get rid of later in the cleaning. Now I'm basically just checking to make sure I got all the critical components that I need for designing. So once the 3D scanning is finished, I can move on to the 3D design phase. 